Good morning, everyone. My name is Roy and I'm from Florida. This is day one with AB Expedition for the four day Inca Trail. And it's quite a bit cold. As you can see, I'm wearing three layers, but I could peel it off during the day. This is the beginning of September. It still is quite a bit dry. We were picked up from our hotel at 4.30 a.m. in Cusco, and it's about an hour and a half drive here to our starting point at Oyantay Tambo, which you can see here in the background. So these are the people who's going to carry our stuff, including our chef and sous chef. It's actually quite cool. All you have to do is just walk. Someone's cooking for you, someone's carrying your stuff. And all I have is my backpack for all my personal needs. Hopefully it's going to be a great four days of hiking. See you guys and um, I'll keep you updated, bye. guys, it's Roy again. So this is just one of the few stops on the first day of our trek. The view is actually very nice. As you can see, I've already taken two of my jackets. It's a little bit, well, not warm, but less cold. And um, as you can see, there's toilets around here. And those are the guys from the different trekking groups. So it's really beautiful. I'll keep you posted for more updates. See ya, hasta la vista. So this is one of the archaeological sites. It's really breathtaking. And as you can see from down there, there's another ruins, which I'm not sure we're able to visit because we're way high up. But anyway, this is just mind blowing. Hi guys, this is the last top of our first day. And as you can see, the tents are being set up. Um, it's actually cool. All you need to do is walk, really. Food is served, they prepare for us, and um, all you need to do is just uh, sleep for the night. Tomorrow is going to be a very challenging day, and um, hopefully we'll be able to get enough rest. Okay, see you tomorrow, bye-bye. Good morning, it's our second day today, and as you can see, we're already finishing up our tents and we just had a very good breakfast and we're on our way for the most difficult part of the trek. See you guys! So it's day two, this is the first stop before we go to the pass. As you can see, uh, there are tourists, well, trekkers around here, and in the background are people selling them wine, beer, Gatorade, and snacks. Anyway, it's a long way to go before we hit the first pass, but well, it's an achievement coming here, so I'll keep you guys updated. See ya. Hi guys, it's me again. So we've reached Dead Woman's Pass. This is the hardest part of the trek and it's going to be easier from here onwards. So we're just taking a quick break. Everything will be amazing after this. We've reached the hardest part and um, can't wait to sleep tonight. See you guys. Hi guys, so this is still day two and this is the base camp. And as you can see in the background, that's where we were at before. Dead Women's Pass and um, we just went down and this is where we're going to have our lunch and then hike up another like 300 meters uh, to see an archaeological site and it's going to be easy from here onwards. Hard part is over, it's very very rewarding. See you guys! <laughs> Hey guys, so this is still day two and this is the last pass before we head down to the camp for tonight. It's amazing. The weather in September was still quite a bit good. The sky is partially cloudy and sometimes partially clear, but it's excellent for hiking. 
Okay, so here we are guys, finally. We are in the base camp of day two. The hard part is over. All we need to do is just rest, have some dinner, and uh, prepare for tomorrow. From here onwards, it will be a lot easier. Okay, see you tomorrow, guys. Good morning, guys. It's day three of our trek. Um, we've made it through the hardest part yesterday. Today is going to be an easier one, and as you can see, um, the crew is just preparing their stuff for today, giving us some breakfast. Good morning, guys. This is day three. This is our first stop. It was like uphill and flat and then downhill. And then afterwards, it'll all be downhill to the base camp. The hard day's over yesterday and it'll just get easier from here onwards. Okay, I'll keep you guys updated. See ya. Hey guys. So this is the last stop for day three in Winnewaina, which is very close, like 70 kilometers away from Machu Picchu. The campsite is just a short five minute walk. And as you can see, it's just a preview of what's coming up tomorrow. Well, make up your minds, take the trek. It's really worth it. See ya. I know that you really carry a lot of um, stuff for the past few days. Um, all we need to do is to simply walk. So, I mean, ours is the easy part. I really want to thank you all and also to our chefs. To recap the trip for the Inca Trail, I can say that probably was the best hiking trail I've ever done. It was quite a bit challenging, but the rewards are amazing. Welcome to Machu Picchu! Yeah! I am just very lucky to be able to see Machu Picchu from the Sun Gate. And then from the Sun Gate, you go down, and it's just an amazing, amazing hike going down. And after four days of having done the Inca Trail, I can say that I had no regrets. I encourage everyone to do the same trail as well.